Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Solutions Consultant with Adobe Education. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can build a scrolling text frame using InDesign within our iPad or Android application. So here you can see some text. If I click on the text and scroll through it, it created a scrolling text frame. And this will be an interactive component that an end user can use their touch gestures with within their mobile or tablet device. So how do we build this within InDesign? The first thing that I'm going to do is um, get some text. So I'm going to drag out my text frame. And we'll do a large text frame so that we can have plenty of text to scroll. And the text, I'm going to go a little bit larger and that's something to remember when you're developing mobile content. Go with a larger text size. In this case, I'm going to cho choose 18 point and I'm just going to insert uh, some placeholder text into my text frame and that's just to save us some time. Now obviously you'll want to bring in your own text or type in your own text. I'm just using some auto-generated text here. So here's the text we'd like to place but in our InDesign document we only have room for this amount of text. Uh, possibly because we want to add some graphics around it or we want to make it interactive so that the end user can scroll through it using their finger. So The first thing that we need to check is to make sure that our frame that we set up is a little bit wider than our text as you can see here it is. And then I want to select my text and I want to cut it. So I'm just going to choose to edit and cut the text. And I'm going to select the frame that I drew out. And to the, all I did was come over here and get a rectangular frame from our tools panel and drag out a frame. So I selected the text, I cut it, now I'm going to select the frame that I wish to paste the text into. So I'm going to choose edit and I'm going to choose paste into. Do not choose paste in place, choose paste into. And it paste the text into place. Then you can click on the little circular handle and move the text around exactly where you want to place it so when the f user first comes to this they will be able to see it as it is right now. I'm going to click outside the text box to deselect it and I'm going to come over to my folio overlay tools. Now if you do not see your folio overlay tools make sure you click and choose the digital publishing workspace then you should be able to see your folio overlay tools. If you still do not see your folio overlay tools, you want to choose help and update. And with the updates, you should get the Adobe digital publishing tools that include the folio overlay tools and the content viewer. So I am using InDesign CS6 and those overlay tools should come in as an update if you do not have them. So I'm gonna choose folio overlay and I'm gonna scroll down and notice scrollable frame, all of these have been grayed out. So I need to select the scrollable frame. I'm gonna single click on it because I need to tell the folio overlay tool what is going to be the scrollable frame. So once I click on it, it's been selected, I'm gonna choose scrollable frame and I'm gonna turn scrolling on in the vertical direction. And that's all there is to creating scrolling text. So then I can preview this two different ways. One is if you have your mobile device, and specifically I'm using a Mac computer and an iPad, you can plug that device into your Mac and preview it like I showed you in a previous tutorial. Or you can preview it using the desktop viewer, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm going to choose Folio Overlay. I'm going to click on the little preview button down at the bottom. I'm going to preview this on my desktop, and it's going to open up the Adobe Content Viewer which will simulate being on a touch device, in this case an iPad, and we'll see if our scrolling text box works. So it places, there's my text, and I'm gonna click on my text to activate it, and flip it with my finger, drag across it with my fingers to simulate a mobile experience, and you can see the scrolling text works fine. As does, I can flip between the other pages of my application if you have additional pages in your application. I'm going to go ahead and close out the content viewer and you can see that creating a scrollable frame is quite easy. You just build out your scrolling frame, 
you or build out your text frame, add your text, build out the rectangular frame tool that is large enough to contain your text and paste it into place. Use your folio overlay tools to program it as a vertical or horizontal scrolling frame. So again, that is how you can create a scrolling text frame, in this case, a scrolling vertical text frame using Adobe InDesign and its folio overlay tools.